Hello everyone, today I'm doing video about what in my kids backpacks. So I have a separate video about the quality of the backpacks, the lunch boxes. Um, this is from Pottery Barn Kids, so I, I have a separate review for these ones. So I just put this for the um, for the good picture, you know. So I'm not gonna show you what is the lunch boxes because I have a separate video. But I'm gonna explain you how I was buying the stuff for the backpacks for the school. I got the list um, on um, school a website, so. Uh, wasn't that bad, but every year it just makes me funny um, feeling when they say for like, for example, this year for the second graders, they said they need the plastic pencil box, but for the third grader, which I have also, they said um, the pencil bag, but not the plastic box, which is um, kind of interesting for me, but um, oh wow, we found everything. So... Um, I have extra stuff in here. I got these rules rulers from um, CVS Pharmacy, and they are flexible. The price the price was ninety nine cents, which is kind of um, interesting for CVS. Very cheap, and I did want to buy them something unbreakable, so they you can twist them, all of this stuff, and they will be safe. I also got this year, I actually buy an every year for my kids, the hairbrushes. I got them from Kohl's and that is a must have for my kids in the backpacks because usually kids at school share a lot and I don't like that idea. So I got three different ones, but the brand is the same. So this is the wet brush and they are super cute brushes. They can fit in a backpack and they like small enough, you see. They have different colors. They have for the bigger kids too, like a regular size. That's what it is. So let's start with my pre-K. She is going first time to pre-K this year. She will be going afternoon. And she has this backpack for the second year because I got the other girl's backpack. So she needed one. So in this pocket, in the front pocket, I usually put the extra clothes. I put it and they, when they go to school and they know their lockers, they just uh, replace, put this bag into the uh, top shelf um, on the locker. So for my pre care we have just a little bit of stuff. So she needed just two uh, pocket folders. I choose two different colors, whatever she likes, and they should be plastic. Also, she needed uh, four glue sticks and um, two boxes of... Uh, here is the glue sticks and two boxes of crayons um, and they should be eight crayons in the box. The funny story is that eight crayons in the box cost like one dollar thirty cents but when you buy 24 crayons in the box they cost like 50 cents in Target. For me it was like um, too much difference in price but because they asked eight crayons in a box so i had to buy these expensive ones um yeah so basically she doesn't have anything like else different we have this little pocket on the top and i usually put here the uh wet wipes i didn't buy them yet the just uh regular napkins and the hairbrush they carry it together um like every day for school so this backpack i'm trying to hold the um camera and take the video which is not that easy but so the second grader has a lot of um requirements but also i usually put the um, extra clothing here for right now she also has um, napkins and she will have hairbrush here and wet wipes somebody put scissors in there i guess uh, that one of my kids. So I got her the plastic pencil box, whatever they um, require for the second grader. So the easy one. And I did see, because I'm working as a substitute at this school, so I know this is the type of uh, pencil boxes they like. So whatever. 
also this first time in this year because i was watching a lot of youtubers who arrange their lockers for their um kids so i found this at walmart this is just the locker set for pencils, some magnets, some dry erase board, mirror. So everything um, cost $9.99, I guess. And my um, seven-year-old, she likes the um, blue color. So that's going to be the favorite thing. Also, they needed three notebooks, wide ruled which is for me was high, hard to find. So basically I did shopping in Target, Walmart, Staples. And um, it's hard to find the uh, notebooks that are kids friendly, like funny, bright, maybe some, you know, like something interesting for them. So there is a lot of like college ruled notebooks that are like so pretty, so interesting for the white, like these ones, they have like not that much stuff, especially in the, in Target store. So this I found in um, Walmart. Also, the kid, requ the, they required five plastic pocket folders. So, and they should be uh, of these colors, which is okay. I usually put um, names on the back just to be, you know, feel better that they will have their own. So here is a lot of little stuff and we have extra pencil case. This is like matching pencil case from the um, backpack, which I really like, but it's going to have like extra stuff for no use right now. So if they want the, pl uh, the plastic one, they will have the plastic one. So, and the list was like one uh, plastic pencil box, three composition books, um, f five uh pocket folders of five different colors 20 number two pencils which i have here like um maybe 10 different things i i uh put some of the regular color and some fun stuff for them uh and i uh took extra to the storage place because they don't need like 20 uh, 20 of the same uh, at the same time also they required um four pink erasers I put one over here, or maybe two. Oh, I put all of them. So maybe we will store it in her locker or something. Um, one box of crayons, 24. Um, eight small glue sticks. So I put like four, but I got the eight. Uh, the eight. I just uh, don't want to give her all the stuff right on the first day. They don't need it, definitely. Then they also needed dry erase markers which I got from Staples. Um, I don't know this brand. I mean, I never tried those dry erase markers, but I couldn't find actually uh, neither in Target or in Walmart. So I decided maybe I was looking um, in the wrong space, but I didn't find them. And also for the second grader, they need one box. I have my list over here and reading but they also require one box of tissues and one ziploc sandwiches for sandwiches so which is kind of good because every year i'm trying to um donate to school usually i donate like a regular printer paper and the clorox i go to walmart and buy that huge five pack clorox and i bring there because you know they really really need it at school and they accept that stuff every single day if they, you will bring because they use it a lot. And I'm actually happy because the more uh, supplies for disinfecting, for cleaning they have, the more they use it. So the clean, uh, the clean environment is better for the kids because some parents send their kids when they are sick to school, which is for me no, no. But, you know, I can't be at home with my kids when they're sick. Some parents cannot. That's the uh, problem. So for my third grader, she has also extra um, clothing in here for her um, locker. Then she has tissues and I will put the hairbrush, all of that stuff. And here her backpack. So she has a lot of stuff. So we already put some in her uh, uh pencil bag right they call it pencil bag i found this pencil bag in staples and i really really wanted 
because it has double walls and in between those clear walls they have a lot of shiny stuff so she will like it so also you see how those uh, dry erase markers look from staples so she has those dry erase mar markers for her locker i got her the pink one just because they didn't have a lot of colors in walmart they had like two of these colors and two other stuff like metal um this is plastic basically and they had metal set too but i didn't like it that much so basically she got the pink one um uh, for her for third grader it's a little bit funnier because they allowed to have the uh, carton uh, folders you see how beautiful those are all shiny have pictures and they required one plastic one so i had to buy the plastic one too she has one of these oh my gosh extra pencil um case for extra stuff and that is a lot of beautiful that's what i was talking about they have the spiral ones for the white rules but for like regular notebooks with those pictures they don't exist so um so this is for my third grader i love the colors i like that they are bright and um just you know interesting for the elementary school kids and yes my um girl likes unicorns so this year it's gonna be um a unicorn <laughs> year for her so she needed five pocket folders of different colors so i went crazy and i got the most colorful ones and then she had to have six spiral notebooks of different colors so that's easy one for me too because they had a good good colors and actually i got um those two from um no i got all of them from walmart yes i'm i got all of these uh notebooks from walmart so she also required 24 um crayons one eraser for some reason <laughs> and then two glue sticks um 24 a uh, number two pencils one composition book uh one pack dry erase markers pencil bag highlighters pencil sharpener and one pack of loose leaf paper so i forgot to buy the loose leaf paper because uh actually i got it but we use it at home um i will i will have to come back and just get it but uh the funny story about uh buying the kids school supplies that um i was one time at target and i did see that they just started to put uh all school supplies on the shelves so in two days i came there and they had so much interesting stuff you're going around everything is full you know tons of stuff some interesting bracelet little notebooks for kids like funny sharpeners they had like everything so and it was maybe the end of um maybe the middle of july so let's say it was the middle of July. They had tons of stuff, like everything, whatever you need. So I got some stuff in Target. And then I didn't like the um, look of the uh, folders and the um, notebooks colors. So I decided to go to Staples. Couldn't find anything but the um, uh, dry erase markers and the um, pencil bag all of this stuff and that's it so basically staples didn't make me happy too and the prices were kind of higher than um in walmart and target so i went back to walmart got the colorful uh, folders and the notebooks so basically i did finish everything with the um school supply shopping and then um, I was happy. I packed everything. I signed everything. Actually, just um, I got the sticker stickers with the last name that you can order from Zulili. And they have different designs. And it says that they are uh, dishwasher even proof. You can wash the clothing um, with those stickers. So basically, you put 
your name, the, the kid's name on the sticker. Um, and then actually they print it like that. And then you put it on the their belongings and it's waterproof. Like they say in a lot of good stuff. I don't know how I didn't get them uh, yet, but they already shipped them pretty fast. So I'm going to put extra um, stickers with their names on the school supplies and some, you know, belongings, which are usually like, you know, jackets usually in lost and found area. So all of that. So it's a good deal. And the price wasn't that bad for like, I don't remember the amount, but it will be enough for the whole year of um, stickers just to mark their belongings. Also, when I went to the uh, Target store on the, like, on the 15th of August, so one month after I did this uh, school supply shopping, the shelves for the school supplies were like empty. Like they had something, but it was so limited quantity they had like everything sold out like the the empty boxes everything and i was shocked because i did remember myself like oh it's still summer like why do i need to do school shopping and i went um to walmart like two years ago i guess and everything was like i don't like this i don't like that they don't have a big var variety of something you know like the notebooks and i'm like what's going on so if you're doing shopping or your first time uh, doing shopping for the school supplies the best time to go whenever they start um, unpacking um, all school supplies on the shelves so I do believe it's the middle of July so in the middle of July is the best time to go like maybe till the end of July the best if you want to buy variety something interesting and you don't want to like buy whatever they have if you want to choose the best so you have to uh, go earlier so like the early bird catches the worm that what i think it is so as a mom of three now after three or four years of my kids at school i guess four already i know that better to buy earlier and the list of school supplies target for example they had the school supplies list for every school in uh, my county so they had like at least oh my gosh they had tons of papers so you take a paper and just go around and do shopping so this is my first what is my in my kids backpack backpacks um video but i'm kind of excited and i'm like why not to take the video how hard it is to do kids shopping like um shopping for kids um for their school year but now i'm ready to go and we already did meet our uh teachers yesterday at school and we're super excited on uh and on the first day of school which is in september 4th for us um i'm gonna go together with them and i will help to arrange their lockers uh, to put away extra clothes into the sh um, top shelf, all of this stuff, so they will feel comfortable. I was thinking maybe I will bring a couple bottles of water for them, just to keep in a locker because they don't like the um, water that school fountains have, all of that stuff. Okay, thank you so much for watching. Sorry the video is so long, but i just sharing my experience with you. Have a wonderful day.